What can you do in Marvel's Spider-Man 2? You okay? I'm working on it! Hey, it's me, Snow, and in this video, we'll talk briefly about the premise of Spider-Man 2, the many potential things that you as the player can do in it, focused on gameplay elements like the new traversal and combat options, and rather than giving Spider-Man 2 a traditional score rating, I'll recap everything so that you'll know if you would enjoy playing it. Spider-Man 2 is a third-person, open-world, action-adventure game developed by Insomniac Games and features two playable Spider-Men, Peter Parker My name's Pete, my, 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 Mr. Mr. Parker and Miles Morales Miles, one and only This game takes place ten months after the events of the previous game in New York City where, as usual, Pete and Miles are trying to balance their own personal lives with being Spider-Man Being Spider-Man must be so hard keeping a job Pete is working on establishing his career with his old friend, Harry Osborn, and strengthening his relationship with his girlfriend, MJ. Have you thought any more about moving in? We talked about this. Meanwhile, Miles is focused on finishing up school and writing his college application essay. Super stressed about my college essay. But these pursuits by Pete and Miles are continuously interrupted throughout the game with villains popping up everywhere for them to stop. Martin Lee. Craven, who we meet early on, is capturing superpowered individuals to hunt them for sport. The great hunt begins. And an alien symbiote eventually becomes Venom. And that's the premise for Spider-Man 2, without spoiling anything. I haven't spoiled anything! Now, let's take a look at what you can actually do in it. And we'll start off with Traversal, where you can do basic movements like walking, running, sprinting, and jumping. But the developers don't really want you doing these things, because look how boring and slow they are. They want you to charge jump, web swing, web zip, zip to a point, glide, Glide in wind tunnels, over updrafts, spider dash, spider jump, slingshot, and super slingshot. Also, you can ride bikes, operate drones, go invisible, swim in water, slam into it, skate on it, do tricks, fall doing tricks, and do the Rubik's Cube. Yes! And that'll do it for Traversal. Now let's talk about the combat, where you can kick and punch enemies, launch them upwards, kick and punch them while in the air, do swing attacks, zip attacks, web attacks like pulling enemies, throwing them, throwing their own gun at them, throwing objects at them, or just webbing them up, or webbing them to surfaces. And once your focus bar is filled, you can perform finisher moves. Now when it comes to stealth combat, you can scan enemies to make sure it's safe to take them out. If it's not safe, you can distract enemies until it is safe. And taking them out can include knocking them out, or webbing them to things like a pole, to ceilings, to walls, or to your own web line. Also, you can do defensive combat, like dodging and parrying. And finally, making a more streamlined return in this game are gadgets and special abilities, which are easily used by pressing L1 or R1 and the face button. And these special abilities are unique to each Spider-Man, but gadgets are shared between both. All right, that covers combat. Now let's move on to objectives like collectibles and upgrades where you can take pictures of things around the city like conspiracy theorists. Nice. Shirtless dancing Spider-Man. That's good. And spider cats. How does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. Collect things like tech parts from boxes, crystals to learn about Sandman. Someone's watching us, Kimia. Spider bots like the Spider Ham Spider Bot. My name is Peter Parker. And you can upgrade your skills in skill trees where your skills are shared and specific to each Spider-Man. Also, you can upgrade things like your suit tech and gadgets for combat. And you can unlock different suits to wear which we'll talk about in this section regarding customization, where you can wear up to 78 different suits, with many of them having different styles. Hold up. Is he wearing Adidas? And is this NPC wearing NMDs? Anyway, when choosing these suits, understand that whatever suit you're wearing, you'll have to see that suit in the cutscene. Miles. So don't wear a stupid one. Also regarding customization, you can choose different skills within your suit tech. 
and customize which abilities you use as you unlock them, like the symbiote abilities that were featured in the gameplay trailer. All right, now regarding quests like main missions and side missions, your main mission involves stopping villains like Kraven, but you'll also be doing other missions where you can play as MJ in stealthy missions and less stealthy ones, complete combat challenges, use the adaptive triggers in Prowler missions, solve puzzles like these, I get them all lined up. like this, Done. and puzzles with mirrors. It is just geometry. You're great at geometry. You could do geometry. Stop crimes like stopping a getaway car in a high-speed chase. Find a woman's grandpa. Can you please help me find him? Deliver pictures to J. Jonah Jameson. Parker, this is terrible. Save J. Jonah Jameson. Let's get you to the hospital. Do the Howard mission. Let's go, birdies. And meet Venom. Now what's cool about this game is that it actually makes you feel like Spider-Man. And you will, because you can play basketball. Nice one. Soccer. Baseball. The spiders win. Carnival games and fish. Go fish. Also feel like Spider-Man by being an electrician, a firefighter, a spy, spider spy, a DJ, a waiter, a hacker, there's an encrypted file, a detective, suspect number one, Wolverine, and a cube. And now some of your favorite times playing Spider-Man 2 will be when you can run into nothing. Look at this guy lean on nothing this enemy dancing in the ground, this one throwing ass, these two people playing chess, and look at this Maltov. Floating. Additionally, you can watch Miles get stuck in the ground, watch a guy run through a vehicle, watch an entire cutscene where Norman Osborn is invisible. You're like a son to me. Watch an enemy just flop over. He picked his own butt. And walk on air. All right, now with all that being said, if you have a PS5 and around 18 hours to complete the main story, or around 27 plus hours to explore everything and get all the trophies like my friend Goofball Rob did, and I did too, it just took 41 hours. You've played the previous two games in the series and are a fan of Spider-Man comics, older games, animated shows, or movies, you're aware that you can sometimes run into a glitch here or there, or here. You like open world games with little filler content, which is why by the time the credits roll, you might feel like the game flew by. You also like the almost instant fast travel and the progression and flow of the game where it feels like you're always completing missions and objectives, leveling up, and can consistently feel your character getting faster and stronger. So strong! You can appreciate the new additions and improvements made when compared to the previous games, like the new traversal, combat, abilities, gadgets, skill trees, and all the customization options. That suit's not an alien, is it? And you enjoy a compelling story with stunning visuals and great performances from all the actors. I'm the hero here, not you. Then I think you'd agree with me when I say, yes, great game. Even though it didn't win anything at the Game Awards. It's not your fault, Pete. All right, there you have it. Those are some of the potential things that you can do in Spider-Man 2. If you enjoyed this video, I have more like it that you can watch on my channel, like my video on the 2022 game of the year, Elden Ring. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing to help me out and to see more content like this. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.